honestly, I don't know if this is a good idea to put my own because I'm using my photo or everything. Yeah, hopefully I don't flash anything. An, uh, like an actual elaborate skincare routine I honestly could care about it less about it but don't do what I do I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of what do you call that of oh, those other influencers have like 500 steps for skincare I'm not on my own and then I'm an influencer so I'm just here to vlog, to try to vlog whatever I can. Although most of my days, I just study here in my room in our room. So my skincare regimen is basically this. On most days, it's this Nivea face wash, natural glow. Even tone complex and vitamin C, and most days I forget about. For example, exhibit A. Last night I forgot to wash my face, and then I slept at 3 a.m. I normally don't wear wake up while I'm here <laughs> when I'm home. Only wear them go out or job in the interview. I don't want to show you my setup because it's so messy. my makeup bag because it's so messy okay so then a few things about me um i'm unemployed because <laughs> i am well where's my toner where did i put it oh there it is so I am not in any way a professional or anything. I am just someone who is experimenting to take care of my own skin, I guess. So for my toner, I just use a toner and the moisturizer. That's pretty much it. I don't like doing like 5,000 serums for just one day. It's not it's not my thing. So for or after I wash my face, I just use my toner. There it is, Tokyo White. Very cheap-ish, cheaper than the usual. What was the last toner that I used? I forgot. Ah, it was just some local. I forgot the brand. I forgot the brand that I used. But yeah. 
pretty much that's what I do. By the way, I know I'm beating my face up for no apparent reason. And for moisturizer, this. It's Nivea Rose Care. Uh, it doesn't want to focus, what the heck. Okay, don't want to focus, fine. Nivea. Nivea Rose Care Moisturizing Gel Cream with Organic Rose Water and Hyaluronic Acid or something. I need to buy a new one. So I just... Yeah. I'm very reckless with my own moisturizer. But like my own skincare, I don't use any other... Anything other than this. This one is good, so... So I grew up in a uh, in Manila. Mm, I don't wanna. Ex I grew up in the Philippines and then studied there. What else? I grew up there. I grew up, studied there, everything. And then I moved here in Qatar, last 2022. That's pretty much it. And then for my lip balm, lip care. <laughs> Because I don't really take care of my lips. I use... I have another one. It's, this is Label, Labelio. Labelio. Labelio Strawberry Shine. I have the pomegranate one. I can't find it in my bag. But I use that more. Let me try to find it again. Just let it sit there for the entire... I just let the moisture. One thing I learned normally, I start with my eyes. First is my brows, and they're very sparse. And the trend that I've been seeing recently, they're more into the just the brushed out, um, brushed out, very minimal makeup. Unfortunately, that style as much as I want to do it you know those lap that laminated laminated style doesn't work on me look at how short my brows are so on most days I draw them on but I just got this um, I just got this brow gel that I like last yesterday when I went to that to the mall so I got this is Rimmel Wonderful Brow, Wonderful Brow, 24-hour waterproof brow mascara and fibers. I think I got them for 26 Qatar Rials. I'm not sure how much that is in dollars. Let me just check. $7. I don't know. Is that expensive? A bit. Yeah. Not much. I believe Rimmel is drugstore. And I actually like their makeup, even though it's on the drugstores and and because dude, this one, this Rimmel, Rimmel, ooh, Rimmel Kind and Free, it's not focusing, I don't know why. <laughs> foundation BB Cream, it is a skin tint foundation. I don't know if it's drugstore, but I believe it is. So, I've been using that for a while now, and it's so good. I swear by it. I might get it next time when I run out. So, I just got this in the Philippines. It's just a very cheap eyebrow pencil that I got in a mall. Honestly... Initially, I was like, I don't want to get it because it was a bit pricey. So, I 
just draw my brows like so find my spoolie guys I have a spoolie that I that came with this old eyebrow pencil that I have and I can find it. so yeah the laminated brows don't really work that well on me as much as I because I have very sparse and very short thin brows they're not thin that they're over plucked or anything or over shaved I think my brow hairs are just that fine. If I, they're not, they're not thick. And even if I grow them out a bit, they're not, they don't, good. They're, they still look thin. And then I'm going to use my brow mascara. Just lightly. Uh, So I just brush against the grain and then and then just do that I guess very lightly try not to get anything into the skin oh. I mean it looks fine Try not to get anything in the skin because that's not gonna come out anytime soon. The thing is that from what the sales person who who sold this to me, it has fiber so it makes your hair brow hairs look fuller. So thanks for the recommendation, Miss Girl that I don't didn't get her name. She was nice. Honestly, you could go. Honestly, you could just go out with just this one. But I'm extra, and I have a big ass, and I have a big ass pencil. So why not use them, right? So that's how my brows look. Honestly, this is the first time that I've tried this, and dude. I mean, this looks so freaking good, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Also, also, I don't really... Honestly, I don't really curl my lash lashes that much these days because, because I got my lashes... I got lash extensions done like last year, almost a year later, around March. And then I only had them for like a week because I don't know, maybe I'm just stupid with, you know, with, I'm just, I just don't know how to take care of them properly. So what I did was it slowly fell, fell off, it slowly started fell, falling off. I was like, bro, no. I was very sad because it was a bit exp it was on the pricey side so yeah after that I didn't and then I noticed my lashes were like very thin like thinner than usual so I let it be I just applied castor oil on my lash line and then I don't know I forgot to do it again actually so I my lashes are in that state they're, it's not as bad as it was before. So, yeah. That's what happened. And then... Is eyeshadow. Normally, I just focus on the eyeshadow first. On the eyes first. So, it's just the normal blue-brown eyeshadow. Depends on the other wear. Sometimes, most of the time, when I most of the time it's brown. So, but however, if I'm wearing yellow, I tend to make my eyeshadow all of a yellow eyeshadow look. So it's just a very basic. 
I use this. So I just get this light brown shade. This one. This one. Very light brown. And then apply it all over. Oh, shit. Okay. I forgot to clean my brushes. Oops. Anyways, just me. So. Just get. Just to set a base or something. I'm not a professional makeup artist or anything. I just practice on my own face. So yeah, I have leftover eyeshadow from last time. <laughs> my bad, guys. And then I just take um, these. And I use the the shad the brush that it came with because it's what I have. It's just what I have. Normally, and then after applying it all over my eyes, my lids, my eyelids, and I just place them here around this area, crease. I guess I guess you could say it's crease. There you go. There you go. I just used the brush that came with it and then I just applied the darker brown. It's these, it's this brown. It's this brown. This brown. It's about to run out. And I don't know what to do with it. It's like a warmer, kind of neutral shade. I can to use this other mirror that I have. So we're left with this. <laughs> and then, after that, I tend to settle with a, the shimmer one. So I have a lot of shimmers here. Normally, I go for this one. This one. This is half baked. And then I use the flat side of the brush. This flat, flat end. This flat end. Yeah, there you go. This flat end to pat the eyeshadow. The, the shadow on my... The center of my lids. So, what I like about this one is... Other eye. There you go. So we're left with this. So it is a bit harsh. So what I do is I buff this out. I think it's not brown. It's more of an orangey shade. <laughs> there you go. So there it is. I feel like this is enough. I just don't want to add black here because I don't want to risk it. Want to risk it? So yeah, I'm just gonna stop here. And then what else? What else? What else? So I'm using this eyeliner that I got in. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Karate. Karate. So it's dual ended. It's a eyebrow pencil, but it's not. It's actually an eyebrow pen, and the end is like this 
chiseled chiseled and kind of a felt tip I guess it feels like a, it feels like a marker for me. It's, it feels like a permanent marker actually and then it and then it goes like and then it comes out like this so I normally don't use it that much because look at how harsh that is that is very harsh so I just let it be and then there's the other end which is a very it's a felt tip it's also felt tip eyeliner pen and I prefer using pen than the brush thingy ones that where you just dip and then just draw because I use that and it was very inconvenient in terms of like it in terms of like holding the bottle with one hand and then I don't know I just prefer using this because this feels more natural for me it's very easy for me so what I do is I look up straight and then just draw the wing first I try to use like very minimal strokes okay so my eye they don't look the same <laughs> what I do is I tight line my black my lash line both my bottom and my upper lash line with black normally it it works for me I feel like it works for me but at the same time I feel like I'm I feel like it makes my eyes smaller but I don't really care. So so this is the black eyeliner that I was using. It's a very cheap eyeliner. This is fashion eyeliner long lasting intense from Miss Demi Cosmetics. It's just a very standard black pencil liner. It's, uh, I got this off of a very s small boutique. It sells very cheap makeup. Honestly, if your face, if your skin is very sensitive to, like, cheap makeup, don't use it. <laughs> I don't recommend using it. So what I do is I tight line this. Ouch. I tight line my lash line. I just draw up here. But I feel like there's continuity with my we're not allowed to wear makeup in school so I don't really you know and even then whenever I go out I don't really wear makeup I just started wearing makeup when I got in college and I started university and that's the first time that I really really spent my money on like makeup I used to wear wear Caroline Everbilena I'm just gonna do the same thing here. So this is how it looks like so far. It closed my eyes a bit more. <laughs> it closed my eyes a bit more, but yep. Let me just give you a very quick preview of my eye look. It's not perfect because of the other eyeliner my other eye see how they're different anyways after that I work on my I put mascara on I just like I said I don't really use I don't really curl my lashes anymore even though I should because for one because of the issues that I had with my lashes um, after getting my eyelashes done, it's I use this. This is also by Rimmel. It's this super extra super lash. 
by Rimmel Lond- Rimmel Lash Building Mascara. I also have another one. I bought this on Shopee, but I don't really use it that much because I bought this when I was in the Philippines and I left this particular mascara here. I thought so. I use this. Um, I don't know what brand this is. I don't remember. I'll just look and then I'll update it later. So the, the the mascara that I use in the Philippines has this kind of wand. Honestly, oh shit, honestly, I like how it looks like because it's very it's buildable. It's very buildable and it's buildable. The wand is very small as I showed you earlier, so you can get it can get this your lower lash line. You can use it on your lower lash line, but the problem is but the problem is it's very eh, I don't like the formula it takes a while to like dry up to set so whenever I'm doing my makeup my, like my face makeup I accidentally bump it and then it just goes all over my face so I forgot how much I bought this mascara but it's very dramatic it's buildable actually so that the wand looks like this so normally i just so what i do is i just put my mascara on like so i just wiggle it held it i just shake my head because i wanted to wiggle it there you go and then and then i just turned my turn my the wand here so that it will face the same way as the other one, the other side. Normally, I just do two coats. So, I use Rimmel as well. Rimmel, Rimmel, Rimmel. Kind and Free Moisturizing Skin Tint Foundation. Um, I'm in the, I use the shade 150, Rose Vanilla. It's like a neutral neutral very neutral shade so it's very it's kind of watery see it's kind of runny and it has a very very light nor i like it's a very light coverage but the cover but it's very buildable it's buildable i just choose not to build it up too much because i just want this done or i just want to get this covered I mean, I can, I mean, I can, like, I'm supposed to be using a sponge, yeah, but I don't, because I'm too lazy to get the sponge. If you're in a rush and you don't have any time to, like, so that it will melt in my skin more, I don't use a lot, actually. Just enough to, like, over my face so i use floor mar where's the, there what this floor mar thingy perfect coverage liquid concealer i got it in blue salon so it's in 003 and 02453 i'll i'll keep this for reference so it's more of a it's like a warm neutral shade It's like a doe foot flat doe foot applicator. There you go. The applicator is like it's very flat. And then I use it on my. I put a dot here on my under eye. There you go. And then there. And there. So basically, I just cover everything that I see. There you go. Normally, actually, it's in. Actually, a concealer is enough. And then once again, I blend it with my fingers. 
I blend everything with my fingers because it melts the product into my skin more. There. I almost never use like very expensive products because I don't, it's not affordable. I don't have any money to like buy buy actual expense to invest in anything more just as long as it does a job it's in the right shade it's the color that i want it's fine and normally i just settle with brown or like very basic colors so that's it for my concealer and foundation and then after that i'll i use a uh, liquid contour I'm trying to lean more on like actually using liquid contour more than powder because powder kind of moves around for me. Although I still have like a contour palette thing, like powder. So I use She Glam. I use She Glam. Um, this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Uh, it doesn't want to focus. Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer in the shade Warm Honey. This is like the more, the most neutral shade that I have as well. I just draw on my nose. I'm still trying to get used to, oh, I'm still trying to get used to doing my contour so i use this nasal what is it nasal shadow brush so it let's call it just to give me a very nice canvas very smooth and then take a lip liner for me i use miss demi cosmetics again very cheap I probably got this for around 10 reals, 10 Qatar reals. Matte 24, and the shade is like this. It's like a very nude color. It's like the similar, it's almost similar to my lip color. And then I draw them on. I draw the lip I draw on my lips like so so I have very thick lips that's the thing way back in 2016 when I was still a student everyone was overlining their lips and I, for one, am not a fan of that because my lips are kind of on the thicker side already. So, what I do is, I just draw on the sh along the shape of my lips. Maybe fix the cupid's bow a bit. And then I just got this new lipstick. I also have another one, which is a lip tint. It's a peripera lip tint, which is more of a bumpy shade and it's a very nice color it's very kind of dark ish it's similar to this so it's kind of just disappearing into my lips uh, but for this for today i'm gonna use uh rimmel Cos rimmel cosmetics again it's in the shade heather shimmer it's 060 it's six, six shade 66 heather shimmer i think it's glossy creamy must be finish it's not matte i think that's the best way to describe it so normally, on different days, I just layer shadow. 
lay your lipstick on to different colors but for now i'm just gonna because i wanted to try this out i just i also bought this yesterday so the color is like this it's like a very brownish there's an actual brown lipstick that i saw that i was like oh let me just try that one and then when i tried it on it looked it looked like i was smoking and i don't smoke I look like this is nor what I normally look like whenever I go out this is how it looks like very simple makeup face heavy eye makeup focused and all and that's pretty much it this is the routine that I'm used to that th this is the routine that works well for me so the eyeliner focused um, this is just the daily makeup this is the this is just daily normal makeup for me I mean feel free to like adjust this to however you want I guess very have a lip gloss but since this is more of a satin finish and uh, it's a bit shiny and all i don't not really in the mood to use this lip gloss near in this shopping area that we that we go to so this is my routine of course this is gonna change over time maybe i don't know this is what i have very fresh it's very anyways that's my makeup routine and I don't know see you guys I guess